some things, as strange as they seem, can end up turning into a simple routine. Thus is the case of my time in the city. A city that I will soon leave behind. I just hope they can't follow my trail. I'll be faster, one step ahead of their every move. Now I have the weapons I need, and it's me who controls the pace. These are difficult times. But I no longer care. The era of diplomacy is in the past. And now, without a doubt, we are at war. The scene you just saw is the first sequence of our short film, and in fact it's the only one we have shot for the moment. And that's the reason I'm talking to you. We need your help to be able to shoot the entire movie, a story with an important message. We want to make a story about a fight, the fight of any ordinary person who needs to master the necessary strength to face a big challenge. This is the case of Vera, our main character. She's a young woman who lives two different realities. At first, she seems to be a real action heroine in a dangerous adventure, but this role is only a fantastic alter ego created by the mind of the real Vera, an ordinary person who fights a serious illness in the real life. In this real life of the character, Vera is preparing herself for her first chemotherapy session, and she will leave this situation in a very personal manner. When she looks in the mirror, she decides to see herself as a fighter, creating an alter ego who can travel through time in order to fight against her virtual enemies. Preparing this character as an actress, I can understand the mindset of Vera because I've just recently been fighting against cancer too, and sometimes I've needed to think of myself as some kind of warrior, just like Vera does in the film. We knew that Emilia had to shave her head during treatment. I told Emilia, why don't we turn the situation around? What if we shot the moment you cut your hair and include it into a story? And this is the inception and it's what inspired the starting point of the film and how Vera's character was born. From an actress point of view and of course from a personal point of view, I found this approach to the character very interesting. About a year ago, Miguel directed me and Emilia in a short film called I Should Have Kissed You in Ankara. The short was shot at virtually no expense. Nevertheless, it was selected at the Kerry Film Festival in Ireland. Give me your position. Here, Unit 2. Currently entering Corridor 14. Okay. The security door will be open in 10 seconds. Voila. Recently, Miguel told us he wanted to do a new and different action story, something more extensive and with more means to make an exciting short film, including a variety of interesting scenes and nine main characters. I love the idea. Every Next Day is a script that is stimulating, uh, it's surprising, uh, it's an audience pleaser, but it has deeper uh, contextuality than, uh, than the simple action script. It's got something to offer and I can say that I'm really excited to form a part of the project. You can form a part of the project too uh, by joining the campaign here on Indiegogo. It is not just an investment in art but um, I think uh, potentially uh, an investment in people. When I read the script I found it fantastic. The way the story combines action and drama is, is very enticing. I got to know Miguel's versatile work as the director of music videos, fiction stories, and his work as a symphonic composer. I really like his work. He is very professional. And I have total confidence in the good results he achieves in everything he does. 
and I'm really looking forward to starting this short film. From the word go, I found this project terribly interesting. You mustn't miss out on being a part of it. Hi, I'm Christina and my character is Susan and it's a great pleasure for me to be in this project. I'm sure it's going to be a very special short film with a positive message. When I heard about Every Next Day for the first time, I was amazed. But after reading the screenplay, for me it was something far beyond. I really love this script, but to make the movie happen, we need your help. So please support us by going to our Indiegogo campaign page. To make this movie happen, we'll need your help to cover all the expenses that will come up during the production. Pre-production and development, shooting materials, transport, costumes, car rental, props material, post-production and visual effects, catering for the team members during shooting, promotion, and the presentation at various international film festivals where we want to be present. You can be part of this project, and all collaborations will receive the corresponding rewards detailed on our campaign page. We really appreciate all your help with contributions, as well as the diffusion of this campaign. So we really want to thank you for sharing it on your social profiles. And every little bit helps, so come and join us. I hope you will be able to watch it soon. It's going to be a lot of fun, believe me. And we want to count on you. This is the reason for this crowdfunding campaign, to transfer the idea from the script to the screen. Help us make this project a reality.